Okay, dropshippers, in this video, what we're going to cover is how to process a return when dropshipping on Amazon. Now, if you have shopped online before, if you have shopped from Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, and you purchase an item and received it, when you want to return the item, you have to go to the, the retailer and request that you return an item, and they would provide you with a shipping link. So if you've shopped online, I don't have to go through that process with you today. But I am going to go, to go through the process of using that shipping label to complete the return on Amazon. This return that we are going to process right now is a return from an item from Lowe's. So let's get into it. So first we go to return request. And we currently have one return request in this account. Remember, earlier in the training, I made a video in the beginning of the training explaining or showing you guys that I want to, one, manually authorize every return request, and two, use Amazon to generate the return number. So let's continue. So I hit authorize request. As you can see, it is checked. I want Amazon to generate a return merchandise authorization number. So that's already checked. And then it's also already checked that I'll provide a prepaid shipping label. Now these two things are very important to ensure that buyers don't automatically ship these items back to your address because you want them to ship it back to the supplier. So we have to get the tracking ID. And the tracking ID comes on the shipping label that is provided by the, the supplier. So this is the shipping, the return label that we uploaded here. We also have to look at the return label to put in the tracking number. So as you can see, this is a UPS return label. So we're going to copy, well, it's an image, so we can't copy and paste it. So we're going to write the tracking number. So it's UPS. We're going to write the 1Z and so on, the tracking ID there. This, the reason why this return address is already saved is because we have processed re returns for Lowe's before. But generally speaking, you would want to put the return location that is on the shipping label here in the Amazon account. Once your return address is there, you would also want to put some basic return instructions. I'm just verifying some of the information, but you want to put some basic return instructions that you would place the shipping label on the item, but we'll get to that in a second. So address is verified. We take, I copy directly from Lowe's because they are the ones requiring um, they want to provide in the shipping label. So this, none of this is complicated, guys. You just need to know exactly how to do it properly. Once that is there, you hit authorized return request. 
So although we uploaded the shipping label here on Amazon in the return request, we want to be certain that the buyer gets it. So now we would go back to, the, to our message center. We would send our template for returns. And we would also add the shipping label to the message that is sent to the buyer. Now, it was sent before Amazon has sent it before with that previous process. But when it comes to returns, you want to ensure that you do this properly. And, you want, and when it comes to customer service, you want to communicate with the customer as much as possible. So as you can see, we use a template. We simply took the name of the buyer. That is the, the template that I'll provide for you guys in the training. There'll be additional um, documents that you could download here on Entrepreneur Zone, but I'm just showing you exactly what we do. And now we're going to attach a shipping label that was provided by Lowe's to this message. Simple. And that is how you process a return. Now, some buyers would want you to issue the refund immediately. Me personally, I like to verify the item was shipped out before I process the, the refund. So anyway, guys, thanks for your time. Look forward to seeing the next video. We, we almost done. I think we might have one more video left, but thanks for your time, guys. Love you guys. Make that money. Once you finish the course, go into Entrepreneur Zone. You can add me as a friend. My name is Mark Augustine. You can comment in the... Um, in the Amazon dropshipping group. You could comment in the Amazon dropshipping training. If you need any, look forward to the live training that we'll do every two weeks. I'll be added, we would be adding some supplemental training on a monthly basis. Have a good one, guys. Happy job.